Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is going to be a quick look and similar to the NBA video on the NHL playoffs. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and as we know, the Blues advanced, beating the Jets. They will face Dallas now. We know that as Dallas won last night by a goal by John Klingberg to now face St. Louis. That'll be another very good series. I think that there will be a lot of battling involved. Barry Melrose said on ESPN that he thinks Dallas, even though Nashville was the better team record-wise, Dallas was primarily the better team in that series. And they're a team with Ben Bishop getting going, everyone getting going, that can be very dangerous. Granted, on the flip side, so were the Blues that only a few months ago were one of the not so good teams in the NHL until Greg Berube took over, and then he lit a fire under them. Everybody bought into his system, and look where they are now. So that'll be a great battle series, in my opinion. And then for the Blue Jackets, of course, they swept the Lightning in a very exciting series sweep of the best team, and they don't know who they're taking on yet because you have tonight, Boston and Toronto, whoever wins that game is the team that goes on to take on the Blue Jackets, and that'll be a very good game in Boston tonight. Boston probably has a slight edge, being they have the home ice advantage, but that series has been battle for battle, grit for grit, all of the above, and it's been so close nail-biter the entire time. And then we don't know either the Islanders who swept Pittsburgh, who they will take on yet with a lot of rest. Now, sometimes the thing with these sweeps is, since these other series have gone on long, sometimes a lot of rest really does help a team because they get, especially at the end of a hockey season when everyone's sore and beat up a little bit, they get time to recover. But for certain teams, it actually hurts them in the first one or two games of the series because the other team's still in their groove of playing, even though they might be sore of playing through injuries, are still in the groove of playing and one off for about a week or so. So it all depends on the team, how they're coached, and et cetera, et cetera, on how that affects them. So Washington, Carolina is tomorrow at 7.30 in D.C. That series continued to be everybody won at home, so Carolina's going to have to jump over that hump and win on the road if they want to advance as the lesser seed, and if Washington wants to advance. Obviously, they just have to keep the mantra going of that series. So, that is a look into it. You have the Sharks and Knights, which is who the Avalanche are going to face, beating the best team in the West. You have the best team in the East and best team in the West out so far. So, this is the last look in. And you have the Sharks and Avalanche would be a series, or the Knights and Avalanche, pending tonight's outcome at their 10 o'clock game in San Jose. So those are all games to watch, two game sevens tonight, one more tomorrow in the first round of the NHL playoffs. Then we move on to the second round, which is probably going to be equally as exciting. There's a lot of battle team teams that really got going at the end of the season, teams that were good all year, and a lot of momentum in this playoff so far. And it's been great to watch, and it's going to be nice to see how those series sweep teams coming off of a lot of rest jump right in again and get going, or if they're a little slow in the first game, as said. This has been a quick look into the NHL playoffs. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Peace out.